Hey y'all, welcome into the channel. I hope you are having a good day. You guys, this is just going to be a general reading or whatever. Um, it was probably the title that drew you in, which I don't know what we're going to be calling this. Although, this has something to do with the moon, okay? Um, so, we are experiencing a full moon currently, all right? This full moon is about new beginnings, okay? Um, new beginnings, new paths, newness, okay? Blossoming, okay? That's new that's coming to life for you. New creations, new creativity, new flow of adventure and ideas I'm hearing, okay? I'm also hearing curriculum, new curriculum, all right? We have boundary. Nope, that's not boundaries. That's peace. We have peace coming through and we have release. Okay, so we're letting go so that we can receive peace at this time. So anything disturbing the peace has to go. Basically, my notes here says the moon is going to have a gender reveal moment with confetti everywhere. All right, y'all see the confetti? It's going to burst out everywhere. It's going to get in your hair and everything. Okay, um, I also have the emperor sitting out here. Um, so you could be in some Aries energy. Okay, two of wands. Okay, you could be in a position where you have a decision to make, or there is a masculine energy that's also in the air. Okay, that's in regret about a decision they made. Okay, um, I feel like to work against you is what I'm seeing. Okay, um, so that's that part as well. Um, this confetti though that's going to come through is going to blow all of that out of the water, okay? This confetti is going to come through. It's going to get all over you. It's going to get all on your hair. And this confetti is actually love and abundance, okay? It will be explosive, okay? It's going to, um, like I said, get in your hair. You know when confetti gets in your hair, it's hard to get confetti out of your hair, okay? The smaller it is, you know what I'm saying? The, the, the worse it is, okay? But we have this faith coming through. It's angel number four. We have you in this fertile position. Empress energy, okay? Divine feminine energy. I feel like a feminine energy. This is about the divine Feminines. This is about your ability to go with the flow, your ability to receive, your ability to be receptive. So basically, the moon is going to become you. Okay. This is how Source gave this to me. The moon is going to become you. You are going to become one and align with the moon. All right. In doing this, you could have recently um, charged yourself. You could have laid under the moonlight, okay? This could be a sign that you need to, all gas, no breaks, lay under the moonlight to receive some form of a upgrade, a charge, okay? Balance. I feel that there is a spirit guide around you. Okay, because they're drawing me to this reveal that's going to be occurring. This spirit guide is going to be, they already are, but they're going, they're, so this, this is a very loyal spirit guide that you have around you. Okay, this spirit guide, all right, with resilience here. Okay, they, they handling the biz naive for you. Okay, they going to work, they going to town. I'm talking about they really are cleaning house. Okay, um, I'm hearing trap house music. I don't know why I'm hearing that, but take it as it resonates. Okay, but what they're doing is they're restoring this balance. They're bringing balance back to your life. They're removing the snakes. They're cleaning your garden. They're taking out the trash. They are cutting the yard. Okay, they're manicuring it even that means they are trimming the shrubbery and the bushes okay they're pulling the weeds up that's the energy here you have a spirit guide that is restoring balance in your life you could have recently undergone some form of a storm or felt clouded okay uh, but or someone could have been trying to do some form of magic on you okay because i am seeing that as well but there is this presence that is around you that is allowing you to remain in that peace that we've seen. And it's nothing but or no one but your faith. So your faith and your ability to rely on your divinity is getting you this palm tree feeling, okay? Um, 
there's an energy here of there's 1210 on the clock there's an energy here of the dog which represents being loyal to what you love the eagle which represents being guided okay um, by a higher presence a higher power a higher force a gifted assurance is what I'm hearing then you have this zebra and the zebra represents this balance that has come out here okay so your ability to balance the light and shadow self your masculine and your feminine energy it's your ability to resonate here and rely solely on the faith so you've been in this place of complete surrender i'm hearing awe okay so you're moving into this palm tree energy 12 11 on the clock one moment let me tell you what the palm tree represents it says the palm tree or palm branch is a symbol of victory okay we have wheel you have this victory over the mask over distractions over shiny things okay and you have this victory this triumph this peace the, the palm branch is a symbol of victory, triumph, peace, and eternal life. It's originating in the ancient Near East and Mediterranean world, okay? Beauty coming out here and focus, all right? Uh, for some of you, uh, they're wanting you to, to gear your focus in this direction. Maybe you've been doing some form of studying here, but it's like if you look further into this uh, Near East and Mediterranean world, you're going to receive some form of a third eye activation, okay? You're going to receive some form of a transformation as it relates to your penile gland as well, okay? Um, it's going, you're going to like see the beauty. You're going to see the truth about something, all right? It says the palm, which also can be referred to as the phoenix, was sacred in Mesopotamian religious religions and in, in ancient Egypt represented immortality. Well, this is the thing. This energy that stretches around you in circumference, um, something significant about 185 feet or degrees, okay? Um, this energy, it's your yin energy okay the other energy which stretches 233 degrees or feet outside of that that's your yang energy this protects the inner self okay with purity this protects your light okay so here's the shadow we have the darkness and we have this purity so we have this darkness being purified okay um if there's anyone that's wearing a mask in your energy um they're going to be revealed at this time okay my left ear is itchy okay so basically your yin and yang your masculine side which is your kuan yin well kuan yin your chi has a masculine and a feminine side as well is what I'm getting. So basically, we're going to be learning, if you have been following the Kuan Yin chapters, okay, you're going to be learning about Kuan Yin's masculine energy, which is the pressure, the pressure points, okay? These energies um, are going to be represented by clearing and grounding, okay? There's a blue and a red aura, um, that you maybe have noticed lately around yourself or around others or something like that, okay? Basically, you've exited the vortex and now you drink from the cup of immortality. That's what I have written here. So it's funny that that came up about the palm tree representing immortality so we're definitely on point here we're in the right we're in the right vicinity you could have been seeing angels numbers 533 angel number 63 you could have been seeing sevens and tens okay there could be something significant about seven minutes or ten minutes okay abundance okay they are restoring order okay this morning when i was driving I received a message and source told me something very specific. It let me know that you're going to start to hear very specific 
things in the near future but you're going to be hearing this in the spirit okay they're telling me to clarify some things yeah would change okay so let's see what this is about so let's clarify this faith show us holy spirit why is the faith card out here more moon. I feel an energy of you needing to get very grounded, okay, at this time. You're needing to connect with um, nature. So this is a good time to hug a tree, get outside, lay under a tree, lay in the grass. If you go into meditation, meditate in the grass. So we have the devil and we have seven of this. And immediately I heard the devil tried it, okay? So the devil could have been trying to come up against you. And as I said earlier, there was some form of toxicity, some form of magic that I'm seeing that your ancestors are digging up the roots on, okay? They're pulling, they're pulling this up. It has to go, okay? Okay, I'm hearing chiffon, only chiffon. I don't know. Take that as it resonates. I'm also hearing Stefan, four of cups in the reverse. Okay, with the resilience here. Okay, so the ancestors are doing this for you because they're pulling you out of this position of you feeling like your glass half empty or half full, like you're not um, balanced out. You're not receiving what you're putting out. You hadn't been. Give me a thank you, spirit. You hadn't been taken care of okay um you may have been left out in the cold you may have felt abandoned you may have felt like no offers you were receiving were worth it you may have felt tired or like you weren't um like you were putting in more work that's more effort you just i just see someone overworked okay and i see your ancestors here like no we're gonna carry that load we're gonna take this all up this is not yours to bear we're removing this heaviness we're removing this from your life nine swords and the seven of wands okay i feel like someone here is in regret okay <coughs> mm. Mm. oh my god i just heard something so clear Oh, I don't even want to say it in that way. Oh, I just heard something so clear. Um, so I heard that the people that did magic on you, they're going to become deceased. Okay. They're going to lose their breath. Someone's going to lose air. Okay. Two of cups. All right. This could be someone you were in a relationship with. Whoever this or this is just someone that partnered up with someone to try to bring you ten wands, heavy burdens. But balance. This is clarifying this balance. This is why this balance is here. Someone brought you this magic. Queen of wands. Okay, someone brought you this magic. Queen of Wands energy could also be ones that uh, participate in low vibrational magic. They definitely have the ability to tap in. Um, someone was wearing a mask here. This could have been someone close to you that was doing some form of magic on you. But there's this covering, this angel, this spirit guide, these ancestors that are like, yeah, no, we're not having it. Okay. Two of Pentacles, they've made some form of a decision. So star card, they, they choose your healing. They choose your happiness, nine of cups. They choose your prosperity, queen of discs. So the ancestors have like, Oh, justice. Yeah, they, they called. We saw this in the ancestor messages. So they wanted me to reiterate this. I'm having to reiterate this they, because something explosive is going to occur under this moon energy. Focus, justice, fortune, the lovers. So basically, there was some form of darkness here. Five of swords. They tried to betray you. They tried to come up against your stability. But... There's a higher power here. Temperance, your ancestors. This is source along with your ancestors that are calling time. King of Cups. The fat lady has sung. They've decided. Ace of Wands. You get a brand new beginning. Two of Swords. That other shit is blocked out. Nine of Pentacles. This is sol solitude. This is being alone. 
standing alone. So two of swords, that's blocked out now. You're not going to be in isolation anymore if that's what they were trying to do. The tower. Magician energy. You're about to walk into some form of abundance. Eight cups on this abundance. So basically, five of pentacles, the hanged man... Ten of this. Somebody tried to like leave you out. Someone tried to hold on to your energy. Four of Pentacles, the strength card. They could have been working under your ID. I'm hearing so much. Someone could have been working under your ID. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Ace of Swords. This part, the truth about this person, Ace of Pentacles, and what they were doing is going to come out during this moon energy. All right, the sun, it's going to be illuminated. The moon. Oh, my goodness. King of Wands, you're going to hear all about this. Read all about it. Five of Cups. They shouldn't have did that, but they're going to feel... Like the world is against them. Three of Cups, Five of Cups, the world. I just feel like this person's going to have this woe in, is, me, is me mentality when the truth about this comes out. Yeah, the chariot, priestess. Yeah, but you're going to be in victory. I'm hearing proclaim. I'm hearing proclaim your position. It's like your position is whatever this person was doing to you, viewers, it's going to turn around on them, I'm hearing. Somebody was bringing you some, I'm talking about magic. You hear me? Yeah, three of cups. But they about to, they about to reunite with that. Six, seven of swords. They're about to three of cups. They're reuniting reconciliation. They about to reconcile with this seven of swords. Energy that they was putting on you. You, page of this. That's the card that lets me know the obstacles are being removed. The ancestors are handling this shit. Somebody's going to be passing away. Yeah, the ancestors, they handling it. King of this, that's a yes card. Three of pentacles. Somebody going to be laid out. Two of wands for trying to come up against you. Six of pentacles. Justice. Three of Wands, Judgment. It's Judgment Day. The Fool. Somebody feels like a fool. It's Judgment Day. It's Judgment Day. Yeah, Three of Swords. Six of Swords. Uh, somebody's heartbroken. This is Nine Swords. They're in deep regret. They're heartbroken. They're in deep They have a lot of remorse. But I really get the vibe like they don't see this yet. Somebody doesn't see that shit coming. The fool. It's got to do with an Aries or an earth sign. Okay. Someone, I feel like maybe, like, dang, I'm almost feeling like someone's trying to do this. Yeah, the hair font. Okay, I'm about to say this. Somebody's, because this is, this is higher enlightenment here. Somebody's thinking about bringing you this smoke under this moon energy. But they're going to regret it because it's going to backfire on them. It's going to, it's going to come back around. Okay. And it's going to be at their door. They don't see this coming. Look, five of cups just came out. And then the point that I'm about to show you in this card is this is going to happen behind someone's back. Like they're going to, they're not going to see that it's coming right. Like they're going to be like, hey, this day ancestors right behind this, your ancestors. So I say, this is your ancestors at this person's neck. Like, hey, you remember that? You remember that, that pie you tried to bake? I am by Zellabella's viewer. You remember that pie? Don't cry now. Don't cry now. Five of Cups. Don't be sad now. Don't be sad now. That's what they're saying. I'm just hearing that. Yeah, not the swords. Don't be sad now that you got to eat this dish that's best served cold. Like, don't be sad. 
Oh, not a disc, because it's here. The fat lady and the fat man done song. Okay, they both singing. The ancestors is singing on that ass. Okay, ten of cups. Okay, that's a lot of tears. That's a lot of cups to fill. Page of swords for the lies. Someone should have took notes instead of trying to come up against you. Seven of cups, eight wands. Okay, they should have got in class. They should have listened, hindered, heed the warning, listen to what you were saying instead of trying to plot on you. Yeah, the hermit, you should have went within. This person should have, yeah, but they didn't. Now they're facing inner conflict, five of wands. This person's on the end, they're in internal conflict. This person's mind, like they, they got the, like their mental state is no longer on solid foundation is what I'm hearing. Six of Cups. This person is very emotional, very torn. Five of Wands. They have, uh, this person's like heart, they're tormented in their heart. Someone's done fucked up. I don't know exactly what judgment. That was judgment again. It's judgment day. Yeah. King of Swords. Page of Cups. It's Judgment Day. And it's going to catch this person by complete surprise. Because you're over here in this energy where they're like, just, you can lay down, relax, chill, go get a massage, go to a spa. You could be taking a lot of spiritual baths. Laying in the grass, just in meditation. You could be really nurturing yourself. I feel like you're learning how to nurture yourself back to health after whatever this was that you've had to really, you've been, look at all that the ancestors are removing off of your back. Because that's your ancestor right here saying, don't worry, I got it. Don't worry, I got it. While you're over here like this, someone is taking this off your back. They're taking this burden away from you. Can you see that? Because somebody was putting this, whatever this devil, seven of pentacles is, okay? That's toxic. Someone was nurturing something that was extremely toxic, okay? And low vibrational. And when this other card came out, it let me know that that was magic. Because this is someone trying to block your crown, your third eye, your intuition, your heart chakra. This is someone trying to play like some form of illusion or trick, install fear. Okay. They could have been doing some form of mirror magic. Yeah. Night wands on the reverse. Whatever it was, it was darkness. They were, they were, yeah, they were calling on something dark. But guess what? Something dark is like, hey, you remember that? Three of Pentacles. Not a this, king of this. Is that a king? That's a king of pentacles. They about to lay them out. They like, remember this? Whatever they are receiving, it's going to like, this person could faint or pass out when they find out whatever it is they're going to find out. Queen of swords. Okay. It's something that's going to, it's going to knock them out. Oh shit. Death card. Nine wands. They're gonna they're gonna wish they hadn't have done that. But you're sitting here in this six of wands energy. They're gonna see how protected you are as well. They're gonna see you got you got a real loyal angel or spirit guide, the Empress here. You got somebody that has your back, okay? This person don't play about you, is what I'm hearing. This could be your mother, this could be your grandmother. Virgo energy. This is my mother. This is a mother. My mother's a Virgo. The world card. So basically, my mother's passed on. She's transitioned. Two wands. Look, six of pentacles, ace of cups. They about to, they about to receive it. They about to get it all back. I'm hearing massive attack. Massive attack. Eight swords in the reverse. I'm seeing this just very clear. You're no longer stuck. You're free. No longer bound. You're free. They also told me to reference the movie Death Becomes Her because it speaks about this immortality. Like, you're free now. 
Three of Wands, the obstacles, they're behind you. The, 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 the distractions, the slowdowns, the turmoil, the Five of Wands energy, it's behind you now. You've conquered it. There's a level of conquering here that your ancestors have allowed you to achieve. There's this victory, that palm tree energy that you're about, you're able to bask in. Ace of Cups. This love, this abundance. The moon is about to spit out this confetti like a dang, and it's whoever's having a baby, it's a boy. It's going to be a boy, okay? Um, but somebody's about to spit out some confetti here. Um, the universe, your ancestors, they're about to spit out this confetti. It's going to get everywhere. And the confetti, remember we already said the confetti is the love and abundance. Two of wands in the reverse. No more, um, no more conflict. No more competition. 25.50 on the clock. That's all changing. So this is the change that's occurring here. Okay. You are, you could have been under some form of attack. Okay. With extremes and fear. This is like heavy magic right here. Okay. But of the, the darkness. Okay. Because extremes by itself. That's magic. But that's of the highest vibration. This is you standing in your power, being empowered by the moon. But someone is using the power of the moon to create some form of fear, illusion. But there's a new beginning to that. Because you're walking through the door in the pathway of creation, patience, energy. Okay? We have surrender behind that. So I feel like they're saying surrender Whew, to this nourishment that you're about to receive. Continue to do just what you're doing. What we saw back here was basically self-loving on yourself. Okay? The universe is saying you just give thanks. Because in this moment, there's growth for you. Okay? There's growth. There's protection. Y'all see that, Lily? That, that uh, lotus, I mean? There's growth. There's protection. There's nourishment. Isn't that nourishment? Nope, not that one. We saw it, though. Right here. Look at all that fruit. Look at all that. Fruit, bread, water, plentifulness. There's you in this empress energy. The world is in your hand. Somebody, they, and that's, I guess that's why they're mad or that's why they're devastated is because the world is in your hand. They've realized it now. They should have trusted you instead of trying to hunger for what you have with this hunger moon. Instead of trying to comfort you, okay, they should have came for you the right way with attraction here. They were definitely attracted to your light, but they, they got greedy. It's the energy of someone getting greedy. Wisdom and power because you're a powerful and a, wiz, a wise being. They wanted it. They wanted it. They wanted your power. Look at that person reaching out to this moon. And look at you standing here with the moon resting. You are the moon. You've aligned with the moon. But now they see that. They see how wise you are. And they're like, dang. There's an energy of like <laughs> this confetti and the resistance and this peace. There's a masculine that did this to somebody. I don't know who you are, but it's a masculine. Like somebody you could have been in a relationship with. This could have been your twin, okay, that tried to come for you, okay, because you were going to be happy. You were resting in your happiness, but there's something unexpected that's going to occur. There's something unexpected that's going to blossom. They didn't know you were this damn protected, okay? I'm telling you, fruition, the, the ancestors, they've already been assessing this. But now they are seeing this. Others are seeing this. They're seeing your fruit. They're seeing your light. Okay. They're seeing that you're at peace, even in times of people taking actions to try to come up against you with this resistance. You remained in this bubble of peace. Acceptance. There's a level of unconditionalness to your energy. Unconditional love. They're going to see that they should have discerned before they tried to bring this magic on you because the same magic that they tried to put on you is about to come back to them. And they're going to be like, dang, I should have discerned who I was fucking with. <laughs> Look, because they didn't know they're going to be left out. 
they're going to be in a void. That's total darkness right here. And if you don't know how to shine your light the right way, you'll remain in this darkness. You're going through this new path. They're going to be facing self-reflection. Okay? I'm hearing purgatory with this release. Okay? Take it as it resonates. Yeah, page of wands. Ooh, somebody could be going to jail. Nine of cups. All right? This could do with this masculine. Six of pentacles. Ten swords. It's somebody that you ended it with. Now they're apologetic or remorseful that they didn't give to you the right way. But now the only thing they're going to have to give to you is it's like they're going to pain. It's like they're about loss. Endings. Justice. Hello. Well... That's a sad, sad scene for them. But you're going to receive everlasting life is the way I see this, the way I'm getting it here. You're going to receive righteousness. All right. Well, this has been your reading. I hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to like, share, comment, or subscribe. Bye.